ever looked up at the night sky and wondered if what you're seeing is happening right now? What if I told you that the light you're seeing from distant stars might have traveled for thousands, millions, or even billions of years to reach you? And on top of that, time itself can affect this journey. Welcome to the mind-boggling world of time dilation and light. Firstly, let's get a grasp on light itself. In the vacuum of space, light always zips along at the same blistering speed, roughly 300,000 kilometers every second. This speed is constant, but the time it takes for light to reach us from different corners of the universe can appear variable. This is due to an extraordinary concept known as time dilation. Time dilation, in simple terms, is the difference in elapsed time as measured by two observers due to a relative velocity between them or due to a difference in gravitational potential. Now, you might be wondering, how does this affect light? The answer leads us to an interesting phenomenon called Doppler effect, manifesting as redshift and blue shift when it comes to light. Imagine a star moving toward us. The waves of light emanating from the star get compressed due to its motion, causing what we observe as a blue shift. In other words, the light appears bluer than it actually is. On the flip side, if a star is moving away from us, its light gets stretched out or redshifted, making it appear redder. Interestingly, it's not just motion that affects how we perceive light. Gravity, the very force that keeps our feet on the ground and Earth in orbit around the Sun, also plays a major role. This brings us to an exciting concept known as gravitational redshift. When light leaves a massive object, like a star, or even something as extreme as a black hole, it needs to expend energy to overcome the gravitational field. This causes the light's wavelength to stretch, shifting it toward the red end of the spectrum. This is what scientists call gravitational redshift. To an observer farther away from the massive object, time at the source of light seems to be passing slower, which leads to this redshift. Now, let's delve into the core of this concept. According to Einstein's general theory of relativity, gravity is essentially the warping of space-time caused by mass. A massive object like a star or a planet creates a sort of dimple in space-time, which we experience as gravity. Now, when light passes near a massive object, it follows this curved space-time, which to us appears as if the light is bending. But that's not all. The stretching of space also stretches the light, resulting in the observed redshift. And if you thought that was mind-bending, just wait till we venture into the ultimate gravitational powerhouses of the cosmos, black holes. A black hole's gravity is so extreme that it utterly warps the space-time around it. At the event horizon, the boundary of the black hole from which, okay, I'm about to say it again, not even light can escape, some very peculiar things happen. To an observer watching from a safe distance, as an object falls toward a black hole, it seems to slow down and its light becomes increasingly redshifted. Eventually, the object appears to freeze and fade away, never quite seeming to fall in. This dramatic display is the result of extreme time dilation caused by the black hole's intense gravity. Moving from black holes to the broader cosmos, there's another kind of redshift, cosmological redshift. The universe isn't a static entity, it's expanding, and with this expansion, the very fabric of space is stretching. Light traveling through space is also stretched, causing a redshift. This is why light from distant galaxies is redshifted, the degree of redshift helping astronomers estimate how far away and how fast a galaxy is moving away from us. But one concept we haven't yet touched on is the peculiar status of the photon, the particle that makes up light. For a photon, time stands still. Yes, you heard that right. From the moment a photon is emitted to the moment it's absorbed, no time passes from the photon's perspective. This might sound counterintuitive, but it's a consequence of special relativity, another brainchild of Albert Einstein. You see, special relativity tells us that the closer an object gets to the speed of light, the slower time moves for it relative to a stationary observer. As a photon is moving at the speed of light itself, an extreme form of time dilation kicks in, and from the photon's point of view, time essentially comes to a standstill. But what is this photon? this particle of light. To really understand, we need to dive a bit into the quantum world. 
Light is a bit of a Jekyll and Hyde character in physics, behaving both as a particle and a wave in different circumstances. This is known as wave-particle duality, a central concept in quantum mechanics. We've made a video about it where we get into more detail, and you can find it in the description below. As a wave, light is an electromagnetic wave. It's composed of oscillating electric and magnetic fields propagating through space. The color of light is determined by its wavelength, the distance over which the wave's shape repeats. Shorter wavelengths are bluer, and longer wavelengths are redder. Now, as a particle, or more accurately, a quantum of light, the photon is a bundle of energy. Each photon carries a specific amount of energy, which is also determined by its wavelength. Shorter wavelength photons, like ultraviolet or X-rays, carry more energy, while longer wavelength photons, like infrared or radio waves, carry less. Photons, these quanta of light, are unique in that they have no mass, but they carry momentum. And it's these massless, timeless travelers that carry light across the universe, weaving the cosmic tapestry that we're a part of. Now, as we've discussed, light from distant celestial objects undergoes a redshift due to the expansion of the universe. But what does this mean for the light itself? How is it transformed over these vast cosmic distances? In the early universe, just a few hundred thousand years after the Big Bang, the cosmos was filled with a hot, dense soup of charged particles, mostly protons and electrons. As the universe expanded and cooled, these particles combined to form neutral hydrogen atoms in an event known as recombination. This caused the universe to become transparent to light, allowing photons to travel freely through space. The light emitted right after recombination is what we now detect as the Cosmic Microwave Background, or CMB. But when it was emitted, the light was actually much higher energy in the ultraviolet and visible part of the spectrum. So, what happened? As the universe expanded, this light got stretched, its wavelength became longer, and it redshifted. This means that the CMB we observe today has been transformed from visible or ultraviolet light into microwaves. Likewise, light emitted by distant galaxies also gets redshifted as it travels through the expanding universe. Starlight that might have started out as visible or ultraviolet light can become infrared or even radio waves by the time it reaches us. This means as light voyages across the cosmos, the expanding universe stretches it, subtly altering its nature. What began as a visible beacon gradually fades from our sight, transitioning into the realm of the invisible. This once visible emissary now speaks in whispers of infrared or even radio waves, a spectral shift due to its epic journey. But fret not, for our eyes may fail us, but our curiosity doesn't. Armed with our radio and infrared telescopes, we can still unveil these cosmic secrets, listening in on these whispers from the farthest reaches of the universe. And so, we arrive at a fascinating crossroads where the realms of light, time, gravity, and cosmic expansion intersect. What might seem like a sci-fi plot is in fact the extraordinary reality of our universe, a reality that continues to be explored and understood most of these astounding predictions come from Einstein's theory of relativity and have been confirmed time and again through numerous experiments and observations. Time dilation, light, and black holes are just a few of the mind-boggling phenomena that make our universe an eternally captivating realm of discovery. If this journey through space and time sparked your curiosity, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more cosmic adventures. And as always, we'd love to hear your thoughts and questions. Drop a comment below and let's keep this conversation going. Until our next cosmic voyage, remember to always look up and wonder. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.